Man, oh man, we got a heck of a debate out there. Question to all of you guys, is this a deserved punishment for an NRG member known as Clicks? Certainly one of their more popular, if not their most popular Fortnite member, creator, pro player, streamer, however you want to classify him, seems to be the latest target of Epic Games now finally cracking down on Fortnite creators and or players maybe taking things a bit too far on social media. Now we talked about this a few days back. It seems to have now added on to the fact of a tweet that he sent out now called costing him uh, his creator code currently and that's still not been given back to him who knows the timeline on that and alongside that no longer being allowed to be on featured fortnite maps that including uh, box fighting maps as well and this seeming to all stem from the same tweet he sent out and you know i i do give him a bit of respect for just posting a screenshot himself on twitter even after it was taken down and saying this was the reason but yeah a lot of people out there have their opinions on this tweet. As he said, I'm so down bad, I told a girl to come over. When she came, I slipped laxatives into her drink. When she went to the bathroom, I made sure to clog the toilet pipes so her crap would stay. I eat out of that toilet every day. And he later added just this morning at the point of us recording saying, Fortnite told Panville, the creator of all my maps, to change the name of them because they can't have clicks in any featured maps anymore. What the F? Not hating on Fortnite whatsoever, just disappointed that after years of everyone using my box fight maps, it's just gone and changed to someone else's name. And that obviously a very shocking tweet to read, and I know there's going to be a diverse variety of, of opinions out there. Feel free to leave your own. For me, and I've kind of usually had this take, is yes, Clix is young, he has to learn what you can and cannot say on social media, and you can't say these kind of things. Not only because you are a huge figure in the Fortnite community, generally a younger audience, and it's just kind of a whack statement, then you add on to the fact he also represents an organization in NRG. I don't blame Epic Games for responding for what seems to be a suspension of his creator code and now taking his name off some featured maps. Maybe that's a bit too far to people out there, but when you represent something bigger than yourself, you can't be even making jokes about slipping things into girls' drinks. I imagine that was taken the wrong way, and then the general message of the entire tweet just being a lot of shock value right i understand some people out there probably got some good giggles out of it but if you're epic games and then you also throw in maybe the bit of the history between clicks and donald mustard over at epic games which we've also covered here on the channel it was this kind of the breaking point this was probably not the first time that clicks has done some things on the edge of what epic games or nrg might be like ah, should you really do that this was probably a step-by-step -step, all right now this is the final straw kind of thing at least in my opinion do you think the punishment is deserved why is epic games now cracking down on someone like clicks will they crack down on other pro players or creators or streamers because certainly a lot of Fortnite players have said a lot of crazy things on Twitter that often just go unchecked because they're deleted fast enough. In this case, it was it was not taken down near fast enough, and Clicks is now suffering from the punishment. What do you guys think? It's next time. Drink up for me, all right? I got a big old glass of Rogue. Got some got coffee and water on my desk. I can't complain. I'll catch you guys back here sometime soon. Until then, take care of yourselves.